Fine. I think they like his hair. Magnificent hair. Yeah, I'm just, jealous. Yeah, we're fresh out of hair over here in the broadcast booth. At the love in the red. Chen in the black. One. And we've seen the very similar strategy, Chen's that early takedown attempt from the Universal Fighters. Chen looking for content, just looking for an opportunity to pull. There it is. You called it. Lace of the fingers. Chen, the one actually holding the fingers that time, tried to keep him in. Here's the two on one. He's going to get an elevation out of this. Ooh, Adilov's got to be very careful. Chen, a very competent leg locker. Yes, he is. That infamous Z lock that he scored on who's number one was uh, it was really, really fearsome looking. I mean, uh, that was a nasty pop on that one. But it just goes to show what the correct mechanics can do. We've seen it twice in this last series so far, right? Those leg locks can be extremely powerful when applied and they can come on fast. Chin wants to utilize that left butterfly hook, try this butter half position, but the grip of the right hand of Adilov shutting him down, stopping him from weaving to the inside of it. Chin now going to this two on one, very Eddie Cummings kind of play here, using that two on one wrist to try to create an elevation, get his hips underneath the hips and try to enter the legs. But Adilov doing a good job keeping his hips back, keeping himself out of danger as we hit 30 seconds until the points period. I want to give a shout out actually to Joseph Chen. Uh, again, a bit of a vagabond, uh, travels a lot. Home base is in Shanghai, China. It's where he's uh, mostly based out of, but spends expensive time on the road um, at two gyms mostly. Trains a lot in Austin, Texas, with Craig Jones and uh, the rest of the B-team crew, but also trains a lot at Vanguard in New York with Jason Rao. And oh, man, everybody talks about Jason's leg locks. I mean, I've heard it described as your favorite grappler's favorite grappler. Yeah, he's one of my favorites for sure. I'm not anybody's favorite grappler, but he still might be one of my favorite grapplers. <laughs> yeah, Jason Rao's got really nice uh, leg lock technique. Um, and I'm sure Joseph has picked up a thing or two there, but hasn't really come close to any entries just yet. No, but he's had a couple of decent elevations. Had one really good elevation on his first grip. Adilov trying to pressure there. He's going to have a hard time passing this guard. Chin with good head position. And check out, he uses that head position and that upright guard to try to rip back into I, a leg lock entry. I do like Adilov's work rate, though. That he's staying active. Uh-oh, falls there, possibly. I thought he's going to fall into the omoplata. Yeah, it looked like Chan was going to make a play towards his rubber guard right there for sure. Yeah, and then he kind of went back to like a knee lever and, and back to the, this open guard. But I, I do like Andalov's work rate in the guard passing. He hasn't managed to really get close to passing just yet, but he's, he's, he's by no means stalling. He's by no means just sitting back on his heels, not chilling out. And he's going to have to be really careful right here. We're seeing Joseph... He's taking this two-on-one wrist grip on the same side here, but he was also setting up this far side arm drag while he has that left butterfly hook. And that can create the opportunity for the reverse entry into the cross ashi on the back side. And good yeah. pressure from Adelov, but this yes, but he butterfly might open hook up, is in. That's right, he might open up that reverse entry. He's gotta be very, very careful. Joseph's very sneaky, very opportunistic player as well. I'm gonna ask you a question, Brandon. Where was this guard yesterday when he went against Isaac Michel? Isaac Michel was blowing through it. That's where it was. But we didn't even see the same posture. We didn't even see the same kind of work rate from Joseph on bottom. It was just a completely different... Um, shin to shin. And now he's got a nice entry. He's got the grip that he wants. He's going to go to Ashi on this side. And let's watch Adilov's reaction. Oh, and it, we know straight he's got ankle. this good shotgun straight ankle. See how he weaves the outside foot in? He's got an Aoki lock. Oh, oh yes, that heel is slipping. Oh, oh he can see the he gets to finish Aoki lock. Joseph James scores the third of three leg locks for Al Leone against Universal Fighters. That was Joseph.